Hey, what's up everybody? Matt Hoover here from Water's Edge Church. And uh, this past Sunday, Pastor Stu kicked off a brand new series entitled The Hope Project with a brand new message entitled Hope Floats. And uh, I wanna share with you some of my thoughts on this past Sunday's service. But before I do, I wanna show you a, a moment from this past Sunday that was incredibly impactful where Pastor Stu showed us a very visual illustration of what hope in Christ looks like. Check this out. These balloons here for me, they set them here for me. Kind of makes me, <laughs> kind of makes me think of that that movie Tabitha once watched uh, called uh, Hope Floats. Hope Floats. Tabitha watched it. I didn't watch it for the record, but Tabitha watched it. Hope, <laughs> hope floats. Because if you're not careful, here's here's what happens when you set your hope on the wrong thing. When you set your hope in the wrong place, hope floats. Hope floats. When you, when you set your hope on people, oh, my hope is, is in that relationship. My hope is on him or her. When you set your hope on people, here's what happens. Hope floats. Because people will disappoint you. People will betray you. People will walk out on you. People will leave you. If your hope was set on them, you don't have any hope left. Where's your hope? Where's your hope? If you, if you set your hope on your feelings, guess what? Hope, hope, hope floats when it's set on your feelings because your feelings are fickle. Your, your, feelings, your feelings will lie to you. Your feelings will say things to you like, oh, well, you, you're not going to make it through and you're, not, you're, you're, you're never going to see a better tomorrow and it's always going to be this way. You set your Hope on feelings, your hope floats. You set, set, your, set your hope on circumstances and hope will float. Because cir circumstances, circumstances change. Circumstances you can't control. The, 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 news, the, the news will swirl around you and your hope will be gone. Set, set your hope on the government. Set your hope on a political candidate of your preference, set the, your hope on a, on a political party of your choice, and it'll float. And I think I just gave you a very clear representation of what your life may feel like today. Hopeless. Because hope floats. You set it on the wrong thing. You know what Paul would say today? Paul would say, um, no, 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 you don't have to be hopeless. You don't have to stand by and watch your hope float off. You don't have to stand here today with no hope. You don't have to not have a favorable and confident expectation about your future. You just got to discover where to set your hope. Some of you have set your hope in a wrong place. And the most amazing thing will happen when, when you decide, gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my hope not on people that disappoint me and not on circumstances that surround me and not on a job that supports me and not on an economy that, that, that's out of my control. I'm gonna set my hope not, not on the things around me, but I'm going to set my hope not even on anything about me, but I'm going to set my hope on Jesus. You'll discover the most amazing thing. Hope comes back into your life. You start to discover that there is still hope for tomorrow, and you start to realize, gosh, what I really need to do is I need to set my hope on something that is firm, something that's secure, Something that'll be steady and strong and firm. Kind of like that verse. We have this hope. It's an anchor for my soul. And if you'll set your hope on Jesus, he will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never let your hope dissipate before you. You'll be filled with hope, a confident and favorable 
expectation. Where's your hope? Wow, what an incredible illustration how when we put our faith and we put our hope in politicians and relationships and circumstances and everything working out right, how it just seems like we find ourselves in a hopeless place. But I don't know how Pastor Stu did it, but apparently there was some secret little string hanging down. But he was able to show us that when you look to God, when you lean into who he is, when you look to Jesus as your source of hope, that he will pull all of those things back into place. And he will secure your emotions, your feelings, your circumstances, all the things that maybe you've tried to place your hope in, he will anchor them to himself and it will be a firm and confident and stable and reliable hope that will not be easily shaken. I wanna encourage you today, lean in to who Christ is and watch how you overflow with hope. We'll see you guys next Sunday as we kick off part two of the Hope Project.